Good morning, everyone. This is Nicole. I'm back with another video, this time about a game-changing new drug that can melt away blood cancer. This was published a few days ago. There's also a uh, embedded video which discusses that a California judge rules coffee needs a cancer warning label due to the um, one of the ingredients that is um, acrylamide. Acrylamide is a chemical used in laboratories for gels. It is a neurotoxin. When found at solid, it, when it's in a solid state, so that may be a video you want to check out. Um, it does not have anything to do with this article, but I just thought it was something interesting that popped up. I'm going to try to get rid of it. Here we go. Now it's gone, but when you go to this page, uh, to the link I'll leave in the description box, you'll see that um, video. You can watch it for yourself. Anyway, onto this article. It starts by saying, a game-changing new cancer drug. How many times have we heard that? It was developed by Australian researchers and has dramatically improved the odds of survival for patients with two types of blood cancer. According to the results of two new trials published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the NEJM says that the drug known as venetoclax could replace chemotherapy and change the way physicians treat blood cancers. According to lead, lead researcher on one of the trials, John Seymour from the Peter McCallum Cancer Center in Victoria, Australia. In this large scale trial, 389 patients across 20 countries with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, C CLL, who had previously been treated and relapsed were given uh, venetoclax in combination with a standard immunotherapy drug known as rituximab or rituximab on its own. So they were given venetoclax plus rituximab or rituximab, rituximab alone. CLL is currently untreatable when a patient relapses. So relapse means when you're on uh, chemotherapy or uh, under immunotherapy um, standard of care and over time your disease comes back. But after two years, nearly 85% of patients in the trial who were given venetoclax in combination with rituximab had very few or almost no detectable leukemia cancer cells, compared to just 36% of those who received the standard immunotherapy drug on its own. So this, this is saying that venetoclax is needed in combination with a standard of care drug uh, to prevent patients from relapsing um, and leukemia returning in their body. This is a quote from Dr. Seymour says that venetoclax is able to produce such dramatic results in this hard to treat patient group is remarkable and has led to much excitement among blood cancer clinicians globally and the research community, particularly in Melbourne where this drug was pioneered. So they developed this drug in Australia and they're using it um, in Australia um, during this trial. The data shows venetoclax should replace chemotherapy altogether in patients with advanced forms of CLL, a practice changing result which rapidly translate into the standard of care globally. In the second trial led by Constance, Constantine Tam, also from PMCC, Venetoclax was combined with the immunotherapy drug ibrutinib and given to 24 mantle cell lymphoma MCL patients who had also previously been treated and relapsed. So they're trying to use venetoclax as a possible standard of care uh, and replace the, the current standard of care that they have right now. Um, the first trials that they do are done for safety to determine if a new drug is safe in patients. And as you saw earlier, they tested 389 patients, found it was found to be safe when used in combination. One thing I will say about that trial is they did not use venetoclax alone. So there could be some issues with venetoclax not being able to work well by itself. Um, I haven't seen anything where venetoclax was used alone. I'm sure there's something on YouTube. Um, you could also look in sciencemag.com. 
uh, P and A S. That's uh, all capital letters. P as in um, Peter. Uh, N as in Nancy. A as in Aaron. S as in Sally. P N A S. And you can look that up. You can also look at uh, PubMed to find more information about this particular drug, Benitoclax, and see if it's been used um, in single, uh, used by itself instead of being used. The second trials they do are done to determine if the drug is efficient. So they do that for efficacy. So you have one trial that's done for safety, the second trial that's done for efficacy. And usually these trials, um, the people that are running the trials, they want to end up in um, phase three, where it's a completion trial, where they are just basically developing more, uh, getting more samples and developing uh, stronger data to support their need to go to the FDA. Like CLL, MCL is also incurable after relapse, but it is much rarer and more aggressive. Sunil Ian Gar, a consultant hemato oncologist at the Royal Marsden NHS Foundation Trust in the UK, who was not involved in the studies, told Newsweek. So a hemato oncologist is a person who deals with blood cancers. The result of this study showed that 70%, 78% of patients were cancer-free for at least 15 months after treatment, so a little over a year and a quarter. Ian Gar said the results of both studies were exciting. It's unprecedented that we're seeing such deep responses in a such in a okay. They need to work on this um, in such a high proportion of patients. These drugs will also will almost certainly replace chemotherapy going forward. It could be game changing if these responses are durable. And that's pretty much the end of this article they um, are showing a picture here 100x magnification of a blood smear um, showing chronic lymphocytic leukemia CLL so the pink blood cells that you see here um, the little pink um, circles those are regular blood cells and the ones that are purple and blue are the lymphatic or excuse me lymphocytic cells so those are cells that <clears throat> lymphocytic meaning that these cells are not normal. They're not normal lymphocytes. They're not normal blood cells. These are cells that need to be treated. And these are cells that promote this type of um, leukemia. They go on to say, however, Ian Gar did note that the follow-up times on both studies were relatively short. So more long-term studies should be carried out to see if the cancer returns further down the line. So longer than 15 months. Benitoclax was developed based on a landmark discovery made in Melbourne in the late 1980s by scientists at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute. They found that a protein called BCL2 promoted the survival of cancer cells. BCL2 is one protein out of uh, many proteins that promote the survival of cancer cells. I remember working on a project years ago where I studied program cell death, also known as apoptosis. There's two different types of apoptosis, intrinsic apoptosis and extrinsic apoptosis. There's also other types of cell death, including autophagy. And um, there's another one as well. Um, there's autophagy, mitophagy as well. Mitophagy meaning that the mitochondria die and the cell dies. Autophagy meaning that the cell uh, dies due to many other um, stimuli that can cause the cell to die, radiation, chemotherapy, and so forth. Um, and apoptosis being in two flavors, intrinsic or extrinsic, BCL2 is one of the intrinsic factors that causes the cell to um, perform cell death. And program cell death is another form of cell suicide. So there's BCL2, BCLXL, MCL1, BCLW, and the list goes on and on. So it is a very important protein, um, and most of them help the cancer cells to survive. They're anti-apoptotic. So you have pro-apoptotic genes, and you have 
anti-apoptotic genes. You have genes that help the cell survive, like BCL2, and those that turn on when the cell is dying. And venetoclax is a drug that selectively targets BCL2, essentially causing cancerous cells to simply melt away in many instances. Andrew Roberts, a clinical hematologist at Peter Mack and researchers at, researcher at Walter and Eliza Hall and author of the second trial said in a statement. So that's the end of this article. But it's very good to note that venetoclax um, does target, oops, does target this specific protein involved in helping the cancer cells to continue to survive. However, I would like to know more details. I'm gonna look that up myself. In the meantime, I'm just going to copy this link, leave it in the description box for you guys. And I'll talk to you in the next video. As always, have a great day and I'll see you later.